So I'm sorry uh, to give the lecture at 9 o'clock instead of 9.30. Uh, okay, so I, I just realized that I should not give further lecture. Looks like the two lectures are perfect. I have to made up something about the further lecture. Uh, so the last two lectures I described this Grozagia formula for um, uh, the Hingenon points in a modular, um, in the elliptic curve, or a modular abelian variety of GL2 type. I didn't say that, but you can imagine the, if abelian variety is a modular of GL2 type, then, uh, then everything is true the same. So today I'm trying to say something about what else should be true. Should be right. And uh, so, uh, so basically, I want to talk about the algebraic cycles of high core dimension. And unlike uh, the, the point of abelian variety, anything moved to the algebraic cycles of high, high core dimension is very hypothetical because there's so many conjectures involved that. But this conjecture somehow, it's a, you know, I mean, prove this conjecture is extremely hard. But uh, to use this conjecture as assumption, actually will help you to, to do the many uh, important work. So sometimes, I mean, so don't be, feel so frustrated. So I, I, I formulate so many conjectures on the blackboard. None of them, some of them already there for many years since Golden Dick. Um, but, but if we move to the different world, like a periodic world, sometimes you can put some weaker version of these conjectures. And this weaker version sometimes be useful when you get them back. So I will first talk about algebraic cycles. So I start with a variety x is a projective, smooth. So I will, on, I, want, I will talk about variety over q. So this way I can as, as, uh, assume x is uh, connected but not geometrically connected, right? So I just be lazy. I don't want to talk about put a number field here. So it's connected, but not necessarily geometrically connected. Like a Shumra varieties, for example. So there, the object I want to can see it is um, so the dimension, say, and the dimension of x. So now we are, for i between 0 and n, I have this distinguished cycle of Cho cycles. So this is, so um, the top is a free, is a free, uh, group generated by uh, y is a sub variety. So this is a y, this is a integral sub variety of a co dimension equals i. Uh, modular, uh, the principal uh, cycles. So every element of this one you can write as summation n i. Yi. Here you modular uh, the the subgroup generated by the divisor of z of f, where z is inside x, the integral sub variety of co-dimension i minus one. This f is a, um, is a rational function, right? So it's a device of that. So this group is called a Cho, Cho uh, group of Cho cycles, or co dimension i. I mean, the first conjecture is probably, I don't know, due to 
Uh, basically, it's formulated by Bellings and Blob. I guess probably already known to Golden Dick that there's a rank. I mean, the, uh, not a rank. So there's a, this group, CHI, is finitely generated. I guess for general situation, uh, this is one. I'll give you an example. This is actually uh, one, when i equals one. This is nothing. So this is ch one of x is basically pick of x uh, and the q, the rational points. So this is indeed finally generated by model AV theorem because this one has two parts, pick of x, but a narrow every group of x, they have kick zero of x. This is finitely generated uh, if you take a uh, rational points. This is finitely generated and uh, this one is finally generated because this one can be embedded into H2 of x of any, any cohomology you like. So, and basically beside this case, this conjecture is open. Even for i equals n is open. Okay. So the conjecture is open for i uh, bigger than 1. i equals 0 is clear, as equals 0 is, is just the simple thing. And this group has a filtration, two-step filtration, by there have two fields in a two-step In general, I have many steps, but this one has two steps, CHI of x zero, CHI of x. This is so-called the cycles uh, of with trivial cohomology, homologously trivial. So what does it really mean that there is a um, there is a cohomology class map, class map with some any cohomology theory you want. They're, they're more or less equivalent. QL and X bar is X tensor of the Q bar. So this basically is a kernel of this map. Or two i, and uh, they have uh, two conjectures. Uh, okay, so the one conjecture. Okay, so let uh, let's write a name like the n i. Golden degree write c i. Maybe follow the golden degree notation. C i of x to be the image. Of class, and then so we have two conjectures. They have a uh, first conjecture, so, so the tetis conjecture. So there's a ci of x tends to ql. Uh, this morphism by this class map is isomorphic to this cohomology and x bar QL of i. And uh, to this sense, so this one becomes weight zero by Galois Q bar of Q. What? Two i. Okay, I always forget two i. So this is the, the first step. 
And for this one, you have uh, a morphism. So another conjecture that so there's a for for other group there is a morphism, just like you can embed into the same group. One of Q h two i minus one x bar Q L of of i. Then, um, then you can tensor again the QL there. Okay, let me write down this one called Abe Jacob map. Okay. So then you can another conjecture. So if you tensor uh, this by Bellinson block, I don't know is that, is that true or not. Probably at least the fountain. In real, it's written down very clearly. Is that the Abbe Jacobi map when tensor QL is isomorphism? So, uh, there's, a, there's two conjectures combined together. We will imply this conjecture. I mean, the top one probably, right? No, I mean, the second one. But this is already finite dimensional. Okay, so I will not, so today's lecture will only focus on this part. I'll give you uh, some trivial examples, some examples of homolog of, of cycles in CHI of H0. Uh, for example, one cycle, the start of C of Q is a curve. Then uh, and the P and Q are points. C. Then you can for, for formulate these uh, these uh, diagonal cycles. And uh, this, uh, this C cross C. This is a P P P Q. QQ, QP. So you get alternative cycles of uh, PP plus QQ minus PQ minus QP. It's very easy to show this cycle is homologically trivial. And not only that, you can show this cycle has Abel Jacobi map trivial. But so far, we have no idea how to prove this cycle itself is a trivial. So this is, a, this is a typical CPQ. OK, CPQ, I define the cycle. This is inside CH2 of C cross C and a 0. And the Abel Jacobi map of CPQ is 0. But this way implies by conjecture, uh, CPQ is a torsion. So as far as I know, we don't know how to prove this. I'll give you two more examples. So of the, of the cycles. Uh, so one of them is a, a so-called Teresa cycle. Cera, I forgot, maybe some, some here is right. So if you, if you take it in Benny C to the Jacobian of C, then of course, then you have a C inside. They also have you can. This one has a multiplication by negative one, so you also can type a negative one of C. You take a difference of this one. 
this is also homologically trivial. The reason is very simple because the negative one x, all the cohomology class uh, is, uh, is a trivial, right? Cohomology class is an even degree, right? So if we integrate uh, this cycle, c minus c, and of any form inside, uh, I mean the, the cohomology, uh, this was a degree, the genus G here, um, 2G minus 2 of the Jacobian, this must be 0, right? So it's easy to show that 0. So this, this cycle, so this cycle, let me write, this cycle also homolog homologically trivial. And uh, um, there is uh, some work about this thing when this one should be. So in general, conjecture in general should, be not, should not be trivial. So finally, there's another cycle which is related to this one. Called a triple product cycle. So you ha if you have C1, C2, C3, three curves, uh, you put some points, P1 here, P2 here, P3 here. Then uh, you can formulate uh, a diagonal cycle, C1, C2, C3. So you have a diagonal there. Uh, no. Um, let me try to see. Okay, let's see. Now let, let's, for simplicity, let's first assume all these points are the same. It's just one curve. All the C here. So you, so maybe I write in. Then um, you have a main diagonal. You also have many partial diagonals, the many different ones. You take uh, these alternative sums, all these diagonals. So you have a main diagonal of delta C, right? I mean, uh, that's a, uh, um, let me write down the notation, the data. Uh, you, you have main diagonal x, 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 x and C. You have a lot of uh, partial diagonals. X, X, P, X, P, X, and uh, um, P, X, X. Then you, then you add back uh, this, this, uh, this size, X, P, 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 X, P, the minus, um, P, P, X. Again, you can show that this cycle is homologically trivial by some reason. It's just by Kerner's formula. The reason is uh, if this run a run cycle here, if you uh, integrate this cycle with certain cohomology class, cohomology class, say if you have a form, if you have a form inside, H, um, uh, H2, 2 of C, and maybe I said, for example, let's embed into the complex number of C here. Then you have a Kerner's formula. This alpha will be right on the direct sum of alpha ij, so all the different way. If you integrate this in of alpha and z, it's easy to show that one of these one of these one will vanish under the cycles. So that's very easy to, to do that. So these are two typical cycles, very interesting. So you see when you move to the cycle, uh, like in this case, it's rather easy to construct cycles, which is homologically trivial. But to show they are actually trivial is not a, not that easy question.
And uh, for algebra cycle, there is a something. Um, there is a, uh, there is a, so there are two things. It's important. The first thing there is so called a height appearance. So if we have i plus j equals m plus one, remember this i, this one is dimension of x. Then conjecturally, so this is still not the condition. Conjecturally, there is a height appearing h i of x zero. C h i j uh, x of zero to real number. So conjecturally, there is a pairing. It's a narrow tight hard pairing, so called a Bellinson block. Hide pairing. And conjecturally, there is such a pairing which is non degenerate. The construction of the cycle is not that hard, conjecturally. If you mod Again, a modular sentence, a monodromy conjecture, a standard conjecture. Then uh, the idea is that you're giving one cycle here, one cycle there. You're trying to extend them to the integral models of this x over z. Right? Then you see the integral model has a dimension m plus 1. Right? So your, your cycle is i, coding mean i, still coding mean i. The collimation I cycle, collimation J cycle, and the, uh, a variety of n plus one have the right, uh, a right quantum dimension, so they can integral. In, they have intersection. The reason I imagine the conjecture, you don't really extend the cycle arbitrarily. The cycle with a homological trivia and generic fiber, you hope you can extend this fiber, become homologically trivial, and each component of special fiber. Right? And to prove this thing, you need a monodromy conjecture. And if you, this is the, if, and uh, another very important remark is that in this theory, you have something called a hard left shift conjecture. Then um, you can reduce the study. Another remark is by hard left sheets, you can uh, reduce the study, reduce to the of uh, this i, uh, n equals to i uh, minus 1. Let me see the correct, n equals 1. Yeah, that's the case you want to study. So in this case, i will be, uh, you can take i equals j, right? You can take i equals j. Yeah, two i, yeah. So i equals j will be sufficient. That. So in this case, uh, uh, not only non-degenerate, the in fact, I guess, is a negative one of i minus one. This one should be positive definite. Okay, so this is about the cycles. They also have conjectures about the cycles relation with action. So there is a, the Bellinson block conjecture uh, as refined by um, block Cato and the Fontaine Penrario. So you get some certain uh, generalization of of a BSD conjecture. So roughly speaking, that 
I like so 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 in other words, you have this uh, this rank of uh, this cycle of x zero should be equal to order vanishing s uh, equals one of error function of this h to i minus one of x bar q error of i of s. Okay, so this is the weight two i minus one. This is the weight negative two i. So you get a negative one, right? So it's like a tetra module of a modular curve. That's weight one, weight negative one, right? Yeah, and of course you have a leading term identity. So we're not going to describe that, but this conjecture will help you. For example. So, so in particular, if so, in case uh, so, in case in case is I uh, actually there is a um, So if i is less than, um, okay, let me write it in this special case. If i plus j equals m plus 1, then uh, this thing is basically self-dual. So then this implies that this error function has a function equation. Have a dual function equation with a sign epsilon equals plus or minus one. So if epsilon equals not minus one, this will imply that this is CHI of x zero is not zero. So again, we are we are in a situation that. If the sign if the sign theory is negative one, can you really construct the cycles? Uh, before talking about that, well, so this error function is it's it's uh, priorly uh, defined as a conver absolute convergence series when real part of S is sufficiently big, right? So even talking about this conjecture, uh, there's another conjecture by Lagrange's conjecture that this one should be automorphic forms. So automorphic error functions so have many other things in the two. Care about it. Okay, so this is the general uh, philosophy of religious, if you believe, because that's, most of them is uh, completely open. So very few things really proved. But now we want to um, restrict everything to Shimura varieties. Before doing Shimura variety, there's another cheap way. To construct the cycle by uh, taking by taking the following idea. So if you have a x is a variety, uh, y is a co-dimension one, then then you have a then you have a very cheap way to construct a cycle like that. You have a y uh, embedding to x cross y diagonally. And uh, that this one has a support this, this dimension n, n minus 1. So this is dimension 2n minus 1. This is dimension n. So that's exactly getting the situation like that. Right? So the, the example I'm going to construct following this arithmetic gang gross plus conjecture is exactly this situation. That before, when I prepare my lecture, I saw that maybe they have a different way to do that. For example, if you have uh, if you have a morphism y phi uh, to a curve, so it started with a map defined over Q, this is the curve. Then you can do a triple product y goes to y cross y cross y cross c. Take a y goes to y y five y. This looks like another triple product. 
but I, have, I didn't have time. I prepared my lecture in the early morning, maybe 5 o'clock. I didn't have time to calculate this then. How could I, uh, how could I trivialize, homology trivialize this cycle? Maybe it's a good exercise. Somebody want to work out this then. So we have a cycle like that. Any good way to, to, to decompose this one to homology trivial cycles? Right. I mean, they add some partial cycles. So this will be the special uh, generalization of, of something like that. Right? This is a, a three curve together. That's a two varieties plus a curve. OK, so this is the only thing I can offer about algebraic cycles. Now I talk about, um, OK, I talk about right, a vector space V. Um, yeah, but we ne now fix, OK, talk about V. Let me write and see what I'm going to do. I, 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 I fix a K. Let me write a E. I we're not going to use the E as the elliptic curve. E sigma, suppose let E be E is equal to Q or uh, imaginary quadratic extension. Field. And uh, I start with a V, uh, which is over E. It's uh, uh, with a pairing. So when E is Q, uh, then this is user Hermitian, uh, the orthogonal space of type of signature. M minus two, two, or commission. No, what is? Uh, or unitary of signature of M minus one, one. Right. Okay. This in. So I write the G to be the unitary group. I mean the group of uh, of uh, of similitudes of this in. U over V with the pairing. So as a reductive group. So the reductive group. Over Q. If you follow Kevin's lecture very careful yesterday, this data allow you to define a Shumra curve, Shumra variety. So in this way, you get a Shumra variety. Uh, this will give you a Shumra variety, x of k. <laughs> I'm a bit stupid. So uh, maybe I should, uh, um, of dimension, let me, let me try, to, try to make this better. Let me take this away. So then I know have right dimension. N. Okay, so now I take a vector uh, E inside. This V is a norm, E E is a positive. Uh, the W is also going to complement. Right, so this will have a same signature, either uh, m minus one, two, or m or, or, or m minus one, one, right? So I get a y k. Okay, this k is a um, open compass of group. And, 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 and if you follow, uh, I will uh, not only, this variety is not necessarily compact. So actually, I will assume this one is compact. So you have to pay attention to the Kevin's lecture today. So I take one 
good compatibility, some, some smooth compatibility. So this is, a, this is a Shimura variety. Corresponding to defined by, by the different group of, uh, of H is uh, um, this G of, of W, U of W of the parent. So then I have uh, uh, a big variety that says that I have a variety Y, K. I, mean, I, just, I, could, I probably forget about K here. Um, I mean, this K and the top K is a different K. Also, I can assume, um, so this, I assume the level structure is defined by, by KH because K intersects with H of QH. If I do this way, that can embed into the yk and across xk. So there's diagonal embedding. So the right is called z, for example. So I'll give you an example. It's uh, uh, n equals 1. N equals one, uh, there's xk in both cases. It's a, it's a Shimura curve. And yk in both cases are the same point. So this goes back to the situation we considered before, right? So there's a product, this and this and together, you just. Uh, uh, this, this is just the best change, right, of your Shimura curve to a uh, certain uh, field. So maybe this should be spec certain uh, k, uh, I mean, a certain e, some, some, some l, you know, this l is a number field, l over q is some number field. So this, this one is nothing else. It's just basically change the number field. This is just a, a point defined by L, right? So when n equals 2, in the orthogonal case, in the orthogonal case, basically you, are, you are have a yk is a Shimura curve, xk is certain uh, twist of Hilbert uh, modular variety. Modular surface. So you are you are talking about the the Shimura curve, this curve a Shimura curve times the Hilbert surface. Diagonal embedding there, right? So in the unitary case, you have a you have Shimura curve here, and the XK is a Picard surface. Uh, I mean, the Hilbert surface, uh, I mean, in general situation, so Hilbert surface is defined usually by a quadratic extension of Q, of F, F of Q. If F of Q is not split, it's a usual Hilbert surface. If F of Q is split, right, the product, another two Shimura curve, right? So in the second situation, it equals YK. And this y can be diagonally embedded inside, inside here, so you get a triple product. Right. 
So in the in the in the first case, uh, in this orthogonal case, this uh, is the y k, and uh, the y k cross y k has been studied by uh, Gross and Steve. And the cycle usually called a gross shown, and then a gross could have shown cycle. Anyway, so this is basically uh, the situation there. And of course, the answer, then uh, to realize the one question of the So in this case, so in this case, uh, cases, so this YK do have a canonic uh, decomposition. Uh, into something you record their uh, uh, homology trivial cycle, yk0, and the homology trivial, and something like maybe you should record something partially Eisenstein cycle. Some other cycle is there, the boundary cycle, Einstein cycle. And in general, we don't know. In general, we don't know how to decompose this same. Again, if you assume the Tedder's conjecture, I right in the beginning, then you know how to decompose these cycles. Okay, so this is uh, uh, basically the cycle I'm doing. So now what I'm trying to do uh, the Guruzagia type formula. So, so I will talk about arithmetic. Gan Gross Prasad. So the conjecture is proposed by Gan Gross Prasad, but refined by uh, Wei Zhen. So for reference, you have to go to his web page. He has a couple of papers. And I also have one paper. And it grows the conference. You can go to my web page to find out uh, the general formulation. OK, so unlike, uh, you remember, I, when, I, um, when I do elliptic curve, I start with elliptic curve, I get a representation pi, right? So, I, so you, you will recall that if you elliptic curve, I define a pi to be the home of x to e, right? But I mean, that's just like a coincidence. Uh, in general situation, e should be replaced by a motif, right? I should have taken morphism from x to motif. And it's, it's OK, but it's too complicated. So maybe I do it a different way. Start with a pi first. So it's equivalent. So let's start with, uh, with uh, uh, and you reduce representation. Of, uh, huh. I have uh, of G of Q, H of Q, right? So this representation really have two parts, like a bigger pi equals maybe small pi tensor sigma, if you want, right? Okay, so this is equivalent to uh, the situation I'm doing before. I have a pi and a chi, do you remember? Chi is the character. So why I have a two things always combined together, but the chi is actually the character of the small group. Here is a pi of, of sigma. If you like, I, use, I can write a chi here, if you feel the chi always as a character. So the sigma was the character before. So I, I will, will concede this CH 
of, uh, of the z, the remember z equals x cross y of uh, this is the dimension n of, of z. Uh, and uh, z have all different levels. So I take all the levels, like zk, the project limit of zk, right? I mean, for us, I just mean that uh, this one is defined to be uh, direct, li direct limit of this k, chn of zk. Okay, I, I will only consider the cycle with the Q coefficient. So let's write Q here. Okay, so I need to define, I mean there, I, I start with a pi, I need to define a motive by this big pi. I, I, I don't want to define that motive, so I simply define the homomorphism from pi of chn of z of q as um, um, I mean the linear function of g of g cross h. I need to have a good name. Let me write this one. Let me write a mother fancy g like that. Okay of G of A Q, Q H, right. And uh, I define this thing. So this more, this more or less uh, is the motive I, I want to study, right? So you can think about it. This is, uh, it's, it's, it's analog of E of Q, whatever. Um, so maybe I write on this one of model A group of pi, just give a name, okay? So this is the group we want to study. So the rank by BSC conjecture or Bellison block conjecture, the rank of model A of pi should be equal to order vanishing s equals one of L of the pi, or maybe I, I normalize, I don't want to normalize that, at a half, at s, s equal half. Okay, so I normalize the pi whose center character is, is, is a half, this is a, so this is the center. Okay, this is the conjecture, following uh, the Benningson block, if you do a refinement a little bit. So uh, there's a cycle y, uh, remember there's a yk, uh, for all these k, uh, together uh, is actually formulate uh, a direct limit, a projective limit. It, it's different, ch and z of k, right? So it's, a, it's, a, it's not a direct limit. The, pro, the pullback of the cycle is not this cycle. It's a different cycle. So this actually um, allow you, I will not write the detail, I don't have maybe 10 minutes, this allow you to define. So this allow to define a pair of the map, pair of the integral. Uh, from pi to uh, to this cycle, so you get a, um, from from f here, you will get the integration of f. Okay, dy whatever over this uh, uh, dh. 
and, uh, and, uh, and the cycles. I just, just symbolically write that, that one. Why? So this will be inside of the model value group of pi. OK, so exactly like what we do have yesterday, we have two observations or two ingredients. The first thing is periods. They write on this one. The P, write H here of F, is the P, H, is in fact in the homomorphism of the bigger pi to C, then tensor model value group of pi is H there. H of, uh, of Q head. Right. This is nothing surprising. And uh, again, this thing is a direct sum. It's a product of a local representation. HP of QP, P less infinity. And then I buy a theorem. But many people this thing is actually uh, at most one dimensional. This is, has dimension black to one by, uh, I hope I can remember all the people's name. Yeah, okay, so let me try to write it on. As, as in bird, Gurvich, and she's here, right? Probably, you know, Rallis, Schiffman. And there also has the Achimedian um, part given by Sun and Ju. The first ingredient. The second ingredient is about uh, finding an, a generator there. So there is a the second ingredient. Second ingredient is is a uh, is a by uh, there is a so there is a generator. Distinguished generate of the two space tensor this H here given by let's give a name called uh, we're not gonna write on write alpha two given by uh, integration matrix coefficient. So this is done by circularities and Akshay. Okay. Well, so that's great. So I define a period integral in this space. And for this first one, I have uh, this distinguished generator there, right? Now uh, it comes to the conjecture of uh, something play the role of, um, so I guess now probably it's not conjecture anymore. So the conjecture theorem, or theorem. So it is there, conjecture by Gangor's project. This is probably done by Vas Puget and his student. What's his student name? About uh, 
So if, I'm just trying to see. If there, I mean, in certain situation, if the other uh, parameter of this pi uh, is irreducible, a centralizer is trivial, if other uh, parameter um, of phi, phi of pi has a trivial centralizer in the dual group, OK? Then there is, then uh, this home is non-trivial, I guess. Then this home is non-trivial. Then there is a, a specific way. Uh, there, there is a, the criterion, maybe in terms of uh, epsilon factor. For this, uh, this home, this pi of c of h, not zero. Okay, so this is, uh, I guess, probably, but Puget proof of orthogonal case, right? And the his student proof of proof of unitary case. So I guess probably right now theorem. If we combine all these things together, uh, then. Combine all this, this ingredient will give that uh, we will give the formula. So give that imply that this is a constant C such as that for any F one inside of pi F two Inside a pi conjugate gradient, that the pH of F1, pH of F2, uh, will be equal to a constant C times this, uh, uh, the metric coefficient integration defined by uh, by Akshay and Yanis. Uh, Right, so before you prove anything, all this conjecture already implies there is such a constant. This is Benin's and Bloch pairing. Because, uh, okay, so what I mean that there is a pairing, model A group, uh, okay, there's a pairing in between model A group of this representation and the model value group on the conjugate gradient to the complex number. So now I will write down uh, this is a big conjecture. And uh, there's a uh, um, by um, Gan, Gross, Prasad, and Wei Zhen. Is that uh, the pH is not other than equal zero, uh, if not only if the derivative. Of course, I, I have to assume that us as a compact, I mean, the in many cases, as the parameter is, has a trivial centralizer, uh, there's a pi half, not zero. This part is actually, uh, it's, it's a conjecture of, uh, of GGP. We can give a more precise version that, and the C here is essentially uh, the derivative L prime pi and a half. And as a refined, you know.
Okay, uh, now let's um, think about the what has been proved. So the case has been proved, it's, it's a case I stated in the last two days. So the n equals one, well, this is the, the gross zagier formula. And the, it's a, the complete version is approved by in my book. n equals two, in the orthogonal case, So this was treated first by, at least, I mean, uh, by uh, Gross and Kudala. And, uh, and, uh, uh, and, and by my student, YZZ. So we have not yet completely proved all the cases. Some special cases are done, some special cases. And uh, the method of the proof is in uh, the users this uh, um, this uh, this uh, Steve's uh, generating function is a setup, is a setup series of use Bayes representation. And the Kudler is um, generating function. And uh, in other cases, I guess probably uh, in orthogonal case n equals two, uh, the very reason it still works. But any other cases doesn't work. So in general case, uh, when n equals two and bigger than one. Unitary case, uh, we gen formula proposed, I mean, pro proposed relative trace formula. Approach. And the relative trace formula, the one, the for this starting point that you have uh, so in this case, inside this case, you have this arithmetic fundamental lemma. You have a smooth transform. Uh, many things you need to check but one by one. This arithmetic fundamental lemma has been proved by, this is, uh, is confirmed by Wijan himself, that n equals one and then n equals two. So in general, still open. And um, well, I guess that's all the situation all the cases we know uh, so far. And I really hope, I mean, uh, in, a, in the near future, when n equals two can be completely done. When n greater than three, you have no idea about that. And uh, in also in a case, it's completely open, even in the, in the classical situation. And uh, Weijian just told me maybe he have some idea to, to do the classical thing. Um, but for a arithmetic situation, it's completely unknown. So we will see if we can do something next year. You know. Okay, I should stop here. <laughs>